Some of you say, well, I've been so bad, Phil, I don't know whether the Apostle Paul who wrote most of the New Testament was a murderer, murdered Christians. God picked him. Jesus struck him down personally to write most of the New Testament. And you're saying he can't heal you and solve your sin problem? So he died on a cross for the sins of the world. I ran with the wicked for 28 years. I have now run with the saints of the Almighty God for 42. The last 42 have been a lot better. I can tell you one thing. I can tell you this, Texas. Fame, I have it. It can't remove my sin, Texas. Fame can't do it. You say, well, uh, the last thing I would think you were was some kind of big time, multi-time millionaire. That's what you're looking at here. <laughs> you know what? All the money that I'll ever earn, it can't raise me from the dead, right? <laughs> Only the one who became flesh. They kill him, he dies on a cross for the sins of the world. He told him what he was going to do. Peter arguing with him, never, Lord, you're not going to die, be buried. He says, yes, I am. Get away from me, Satan. He had to do it for us. Three days after they killed Jesus, he's standing back up on that earth. Hey, Texas, let me tell you something. If that does not get you off planet earth, you're never getting off planet earth. It's your only shot. It's our only chance we have. By the way, what good would it do to remove your sin if he couldn't raise you from the dead? We're going to die, Lord. What about the grave, Lord? He said, I'm going to solve that while I'm at it. And he did. I tend to be about halfway fired up about the whole thing. What happened to him? He went back into the right hand of God where he sits down right now. You say, you know why he's there? Not only have all your past sins been removed at the cross, that blood that was shed constantly cleanses you from any sin you will ever commit while you're on earth. He's there to mediate for you 24-7. Lord, I blew it again. He said, it's called grace now, son, daughter. You're not under a law of works. You're under the law of faith now. Grace is a wonderful thing. Finally, there is provision for our violations of law. The provision, the blood of God himself. What a loving God and a merciful God for all the scumbags on this earth. Look how much he loves us. We're getting out of here alive, Texas. Texas.